The only real trick to multiplying a polynomial by another polynomial is to not get lost about which terms you've already multiplied and which you haven't multiplied yet. You have to take each of the terms in the first set and multiply it by each of the terms in the second set. So here we have to take 2x and positive 1 and multiply them each by x and positive 3. And there's a couple of different ways to keep them straight. The one we're going to focus on right here is called the FOIL method. And FOIL is an acronym uh, that stands for first, outer, inner, last. And what those describe are the terms that you're multiplying. So step one here is to multiply the first two terms. And what that means is the first term in this set, so this one, multiplied by the first term in this set, which is this one. So we have 2x times x, and that gives us 2x squared. Then we multiply the outer two terms. So we have the outside term, which is this one, and the outside term, which is this one. So we have 2x times 3, and that gives us 6x. Then we have i, which is the inside term. So now we have the inner term, which is that one, and the inner term, which is that one. So now we have 1 times x, and that gives us x. And then finally we have l, which is the last two terms. So it's the second term in this set and the second term in this set. So we have 1 times 3, and that gives us 3. I know we got all kinds of arrows going on up here now. I'm sorry for that. I just want to make sure you get a chance to identify what each one was. And then last, uh, generally speaking, when you do the multiplication, your middle two terms will usually combine. So you'll have 6x and 1x, those combine to be 7x's. And then we can write our terms out linearly, and we have 2x squared plus 7x, and we know it's plus 7x because it's positive, plus 3. And that's it. I didn't have time to do all three, uh, A, B, and C here on this second example, but I wanted to give you a little bit of exposure to two different ways of multiplying. We're going to go back and practice the FOIL method first. That's the one we did before. So we have our first two terms. 4 4x times x is 4x squared. And our outer two terms, 4x times negative 20 is negative 80x. And our inner two terms, negative 5 times x is negative 5x. And our last two terms, negative 5 times negative 20 is positive 100. And as usual, our middle two terms combine, giving us negative 85x. So our final uh, trinomial here is 4x squared minus 85x plus 100. Now on the other side here, we're going to do the vertical multiplication method, which is one we didn't do yet. Um, what we're going to do is write these down like you did in sort of elementary school when you were multiplying with multiple digits, times 3x plus 2. And the process is very similar. We take the first term times the first term, 2 times negative 2, that's negative 4. And then the first term times the left-hand one, 2 times 3x is positive 6x. And then we move down and we skip a space. And then we do 3x times negative 2, that's negative 6x. And 3x times 3x, that's 9x squared. And then we just add straight down. We have negative 4, we have 0, and we have 9x squared. So our final answer then, once everything is combined, is 9x squared minus 4. And I wanted to give you an example of both of these because I have some students that prefer the FOIL method and some prefer vertical multiplication. But as long as you have one that works for you, take the one that works best because you have to do a lot of multiplying. You may as well do the way it works for best for you.